this. Good morning, happy monster. <laughs> Where's my monster mouse? Mia, come to Mia. Good morning. Who's this? <gasps> yeah, say <see>, hi. <laughs> come get your suit on. Come get your snow suit on. This can become the new brave. Yeah. That's no. Mia. Yes. No. Yes. Yay. Let's go. Good morning, everyone. So I'm dropping you at work first. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. And you step on the brakes. Yes, I am. Half the fly thing, you start screaming, and I go. Thanks so much. And then I'm going to have a nice afternoon. <laughs> Thank you, Mar. Okay. It is now 20 past nine. I'm back home, and I only have maybe half an hour to get what I need done get myself looking half decent, have a coffee, pour myself up, uh, get these orders at least in envelopes and are dressed up ready to go to the post office when I get time and then go and get me up. So we are now waiting to go into our appointment at the hospital. We're at um, Lanspitali for Mia's, um, turn the heat down, it is a bit warm in here, for Mia's eye examination. So. I think it's almost three months since she had her injections. Um, for those of you who don't know, Mia was born with strabismus, which is kind of like cross-eyed um, or lazy eye. Basically, her eyes could work independently. So she has a strong right eye. Her left eye is the weaker one. Um, and we saw a specialist from very early on. We've had great care here. And a lot of you have been very concerned about it, but we have always been on top of it. Um, and basically, three months ago, we all kind of made the decision that we would try out this uh, relatively new treatment, which is Botox injections into her eye muscles. So that's what we did just before Christmas. And we saw the specialist maybe a month ago um, when the, um, the Botox would have been kind of easing off, not working as much. Um, but basically her eye muscles now have had the chance to kind of act on their own and remember where they're supposed to be, to be straight. And that's what we're gonna be checking over today. So to my untrained eye, I would say her eyes are doing really well. Her right eye looks like it's perfect. Um, her left eye is slightly going inwards, but I think it's more when she's tired. So I'm not sure what the, they're gonna say today and what the treatment might be. Um, she can have two more injections in her eyes and also they can vary the dosage of it. So I'm definitely all for um, getting everything done that we can do for her now while she's super young and not really affected by it and she's kind of young enough to not remember and to heal from it really quickly so hopefully that's what we're gonna do um yeah and I'll you know I'll update you as we go okay so that was pretty much a disaster um we went and i put her id number in and it registered us for the appointment so there is an appointment somewhere within the hospital system but it wasn't there and so i waited for like half an hour changed her nappy played with her entertained a whole bunch of grannies um and it then asked at reception and she said nope because ugh, everything's done computerized um so somewhere within the hospital she has an appointment but I have no way of finding out where really because yeah I phoned the switchboard support thing and he couldn't help me and Ingemar's in a meeting right now well we're 40 minutes late for this appointment anyway and Mia's ready for a nap so I think we're just gonna have to say it's a day and uh try this again another time okay so i didn't mean for this to just be an in-car vlog um but i think just a lot of today is going to be like this so i just thought i would pick up the camera and talk to you about kind of just an update on how we've been what we're up to what i'm up to how people are um 
and kind of why I've taken a bit of a break from vlogging. So I'm currently sitting outside of Ingemar's work. He might come out anytime soon. So I realized that I'm probably pretty hungry. That's why I'm getting a bit of a headache. So I just ran into um, Krona and bought a smoothie because with protein in it just to try and fuel myself a little bit because I've been really, really bad at remembering to eat because I just don't really have time to stop and feed myself. Um, and I think that's quite a common thing for mums who are busy running around and juggling a whole load of things. Um, but I did this before I became a mum. I've always been pretty bad at feeding myself and remembering to eat. So that is a big priority at the moment. I'm actually doing a bullet journal and I'm trying to track how much water I'm drinking and that I'm having three meals and snacks throughout the day which I don't often snack, but this is my new thing. So three pints of water is my aim. A coffee in the morning, a good breakfast, which I always do. Lunch is questionable. <laughs> Dinner is just whatever I've cooked. I'm enjoying doing the bullet journal. It did take a while to set up and kind of get into the flow of it, but I actually, I'm definitely a kind of, paper person, I'm a stationary lover. Um, and as much as I have my calendar on my phone and it's linked to Ingemar's, because we're just busy like that, I also have a bullet journal because I think that writing things down, writing down lists <laughs> is definitely my thing. Um, and having them in one place, I don't know what I did before the bullet journal, just had random pieces of paper and lists everywhere. Uh, so that's what I've been doing to try and keep myself kind of creative in my planning of what my days, weeks, months look like. Get good habits going on in my day-to-day -day life, like drinking water and eating enough um, and exercising. I've taken up Zumba again. I say that hesitantly because I haven't been for the last couple of weeks because Ingmar has been working in this kind of temporary job and sometimes he's been doing evening shifts so I've been home with Mia um, and he's also had interviews which meant that I couldn't go to the Zumba either so I have been on and off and I'm gonna try and get back into it and just trying to look after myself a bit more I'm pretty bad at self-care I kind of I still don't really respect the idea of self-care very well I'm pretty bad at taking it seriously and I see my life in chapters, I see even motherhood as like different chapters. I see it now as Mia doesn't need me as much. She needs both of us equally now. Sometimes she needs daddy more because she's a daddy's girl and I'm fine with that. I need to look after me a bit more. Um, so that's kind of what I'm trying to focus on right now. Ingemar got a new job recently. I'm pretty sure I can tell you that. Uh, so he'll be starting that soon, which is really exciting. Um, as much as he loves the job he's doing right now, it is hard and it's not necessarily his career. I'm not gonna tell you too much about what he's doing because it's private. But yeah, he has a new job. He'll be starting that in, well, a few weeks, the next month anyway. Still keto. Keto Reykjavik um, and yeah Mia is doing brilliantly she is just so much fun she's an absolute delight she just you know lights up our faces lights up our world the vlogs are kind of just a way of us recording our lives and sharing it with you and that's brilliant for recording things with Mia um, and I have so much recorded that I need to edit and I will get right into it but I want to start making more kind of structured creative videos um, and I have a few ideas which I think will take quite a while to actually put together but I'm excited to do it so I'm gonna stop talking for now because this is super boring and Ingmar will come out soon. If you've ever wanted to see inside an Icelandic supermarket this is what it's like freezing cold you need to wear your coat. <laughs> Skier, 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 skier. There you go, guys. Skier. <laughs> I've seen this before. That looks like a cute thing that Ingemar... Ingemar? Oh my goodness, I've never done that before. Mia could, would have with her friends. Which cheese? Pick a cheese. Any cheese. Come on. This actually looks like it would just bounce. This is what happens when you live in a cold, dark country. 
You have all the different fish oils, vitamin D. They have coffee available. Easter eggs already. What came first? The chicken or the egg? <laughs> Ingmar's already walked away from me. I bet you anything he's going to moan about these. <laughs> what, what, what? <laughs> They're good ones. They're yummy. Into the second fridge we go. Look at that idiot. <laughs> And some Mia snacks. Oh, ignore the socks on the bed there. I am in my soft office, as you can see. Um, I'm just writing a quick blog post, so I'm just basically drafting out bullet points. And then when I've got some time, I will type it up nicely, put some images in. But I'm sitting here and I'll zoom right in. But it's snowing outside and it's beautiful. I feel like I kind of sometimes I love it sometimes I get a bit sick of it because we're March now and it's still snowing pretty heavily. This is hilarious. I'm gonna try and get this blog post up because I want to do at least a blog post a month, like a decent kind of not essay sort of style one but something that I'm really contributing some good information, good opinions in my opinion. Onto the website and yeah, my mum is coming over later on this week, so that's exciting. Um, Mia will just love that. But I've also listed out a load of pictures that I want her to take so she can be my photographer. Uh, so thanks in advance, Gran Rosa. Here's my delivery. Hello, little miss. <sighs> Yay! <laughs> Hi. Hi. You are still a little bit of a snot bag. I got you. Oh. <laughs> no chat then.